good morning all of you in this session i am going to explain about welded joints introduction this is unit number 3 part b the subject mission design is the creation of new and better missions and improving the existing ones a new or better mission is one which is more economical in the overall cost of production and operation the process of design is a long and time consuming one from the study of existing ideas a new idea has to be conceived the idea is then studied keeping in mind its commercial success and give shape and form in the form of drawings fasteners a mission element used for holding or joining two or more parts of mission or structure is known as a fastener the process of joining the parts is called fastening the fasteners of are of two types permanent fasteners removable or temporary fasteners fasteners broadly classified into permanent fasteners and temporary fasteners the examples for uh, permanent fasteners are first one is welded joint second one is a riveted joint third one is a soldering fourth one is a brace these all are examples for permanent fasteners examples for uh, temporary fasteners or screwed fasteners that means bolt nuts okay couplings couplings uh, muff coupling sleeve coupling uh, flange couplings flexible couplings is rectangular key sun keys saddle keys wood rough keys okay car joints knuckle joint okay these all are these all are examples for the temporary fasteners riveting and welding process are used for fastening permanently okay riveting and welding process are used for fastening permanently screwed fasteners such as bolts studs nuts in combination mission screws set screws and case for joints couplings are used for fastening components that require frequent assembly and disassembly okay screwed fasteners occupy the most prominent place among the removal fasteners in general screwed fasteners are used to hold parts together to adjust parts with reference to each other to transmit power okay welded joints welded joint is a permanent joint okay so these all are the examples for uh, welded joints this one is a butt joint this one is a lap joint this one is a t joint this one is a corner joint this one is a edge joint okay so these all are examples for welded joints and uh, this is the real application of a welded joint okay this one also example for welded joint okay this one also a simple example for welded joint now riveted joint riveted joints also permanent fasteners so this one is the example for riveted joint here you can observe this one is a riveted joint this is a simple rivet
Now these all are these all are also rivets. We use it for construct the structural structures, civil structures and the bridges. There in this in this figure you can observe these small dots or rivets, rivet heads here. These rivets are useful to join the metal sheets. This one also example for uh, riveted joints used for constructing civil structures and uh, bridges, iron bridges. Okay, this one also example for uh, iron bridge for uh, joining the structures. We are using rivets and bolts, nuts, and welded joints. Okay, soldering also a low strength permanent fastener. Soldering, although we know that soldering is very important for joining the electric circuits. Okay. Brazing, this one, a yeah, brazing. Okay. okay. From this figure, you can observe brazing. Brazing also a permanent fastener. Okay, permanent uh, joint. Mogul joint is a temporary joint. These all are the parts of uh, knuckle joint. This one is example for uh, carter joint. Carter joint is a temporary fastener. This is a disassemble view. This one is a assemble view. Okay, this is the example for uh, shaft couplings. This one is a coupling. Coupling is used to join two shafts and also couplings are also used for transmitting the power from one shaft to another shaft. These all are examples for uh, couplings, shaft couplings. Okay, this one is the another example of a flange coupling. Okay, this flange coupling is used to join the motor shaft and pump shaft. Okay. Screwed fasteners. Screwed fasteners are also a temporary fasteners. Okay, these all are bolts and nuts. Okay, in this figure you can observe screws, set screws, bolts, nuts, studs. Okay. This one is a nut, this one is a bolt. This is a helical threads. These are helical threads. This one is a head, head of the bolt. Okay. This one is a shank of the bolt. This is a nut. This is, these are, these all are internal threads. These all are external threads. Okay. This is the assembled view of a bolt and nut. These all are bolted joints. Okay. Here, bolted joints, bolts are used to join two pipes. This one is the example for uh, flange coupling. This one also uh, an example for uh, coupling. Here, for joining the flanges, we are using bolts and nuts. Here, this is the example for uh, voltage joints used in structural use. 
this is the example for welded joint this is the example for bolted joint okay this one also a example for uh, bolted joints used in structural use okay this one also a, a structural civil structure for construct the civil structures we are using bolts nuts rivets A screw thread is obtained by cutting a continuous helical groove on a cylindrical surface. The threaded portion engages, engages with a corresponding threaded hole, forming a screwed fastener. Now coming to the another topic that is welded joints. Welded joints introduction. A welded joint is a permanent joint which is obtained by the fusion of fusion of the edges of the two parts to be joined together with or without the application of pressure and a filler material. Okay. The heat required for the fusion of the material may be obtained by burning of the gas. Or by an electric arc. These all are the examples for the welded joints. Welding is extensively used in fabrication as an alternative method for casting or forging and as a replacement for bolted and riveted joints. Welded joint is a permanent joint. Okay. It is also used as a repair medium, example, to re-unit metal at a crack to build up a small part that has broken off, such as a such as gear tooth or to repair a worn surface, such as a bearing surface. Now, advantages of welded joints over riveted joints. The welded structures are usually lighter than riveted structures. This is due to the reason that in welding, gussets or other connecting components are not used. The welded joints provide maximum efficiency which is not possible in case of riveted joints. Alternations and additions can be easily made in the existing structures. As the weld, welded structure is smooth in appearance, therefore it looks pleasing. In welded connections, the tension members are not weakened as in the case of riveted joints. A welded joint has a great strength. Often a welded joint has, has the strength of the parent metal itself. Sometimes the members are of such a shape, circular steel pipes, that they offer difficulty for riveting but they can be easily welded. The welding provides very rigid joints. This is in line with the modern trend of providing rigid frames. It is possible to weld any part of a structure at any point, but riveting requires enough clearance. The process of welding takes less time than the riveting. Okay, these all are uh, some ad some advantages over uh, riveted joints. These advantages of welded joints over riveted joints. Since there is an uneven heating and cooling 
during fabrication. Therefore, the members may get distorted or additional stresses may develop. It requires a highly skilled labor and supervision. Since no provision is kept for expansion and contraction in the frame, therefore there is a possibility of cracks developing in it. The inspection of welding work is more difficult than riveting work. Now coming to the another topic that is the types of uh, welded joints. Following two types of welded joints are important for the subject point of view. First one is a lap or fillet joint and second one is a butt joint. Okay, here you can observe this is a butt joint, this is a lap or fillet joint. Okay. Lap joint. The lap joint or the fillet The lap joint or the fillet joint joint is obtained by overlapping the plates and then welding the edges of the plates. The cross section of the plate, the cross section of the fillet is approximately triangular. The fillet joints may be single transverse fillet, double transverse fillet welding. Parallel fillet uh, will parallel fillet joints, welded joints. Okay, from from this figure you can observe this is a single transverse welded joint. This is a top view of top view. This is a front view. Okay. Here yeah, the cross section of the fillet is approximately triangle. Okay. In this uh, figure, you can observe this is a top view and this is a front view of a double transverse welded joint. Okay. Now, this is the example for parallel fillet. Butt joint. The butt joint is obtained by placing the plates edge to edge as shown in figure. In the butt joint is obtained by placing the plates, plates edge to edge. Okay, as shown here. In butt welds, the plate edges do not require beveling if the thickness of the plate is less than 5 mm. Okay. On the other hand, if the plate thickness is uh, 5 mm to 12.5 mm, the edges should be beveled to V or U groove on both sides. These all are the different types of butt joints. This one is a square butt joint. This one is a single V butt joint. This is a single U butt joint. This one is a double V butt joint. This one is a double U butt joint. Okay, these all are some examples for uh, butt joints. The butt joints may be square butt joints, single V butt joints, single U butt joint, double V butt joint, okay, double U butt joint, single J butt joint, double J butt joint, okay. These joints are shown in figure, in previous figure, in previous figure. The other type of welded joints are uh, corner joint, edge joint and T joint as shown here. Okay. The main concentrations involved in the selection of welded welded type are the shape of the welded component required, the thickness of the face to be welded, the direction of the forces applied. Now coming to the another topic that is the basic weld symbols. 
the basic weld symbols according to Indian standards 8132-1961 are shown in the following table. Okay, for fillet, fillet weld, weldings, you have to use this symbol. Okay, this symbol is used for a square butt joint. This symbol is used for a single V butt joint. This symbol is used for a double V butt joint. This one is used for a single U butt joint. This symbol is used for a double U butt joint. This symbol is used for single bevel butt joint. Okay. This symbol is is used for double bevel double bevel joint. Double bevel butt joint. Okay. Now this symbol is used for single J butt joint, J butt welding joint. This symbol is used for double J butt joint. Okay. Now this symbol is used for edge or seal. Now this uh, symbol is, is used for stud welding. Okay. This symbol is used for stud. Okay. Stud welding. Now this circle is used for sealing the run. Okay, this symbol is used for spot welding. Okay, this symbol is used for seam welding. This symbol is used for mashed seam welding. Okay. Now this symbol is used for plug, plug joint. Now this symbol is used for backing strip welding. This symbol is used for a stitch, stitch welded joint. Now this triangle is used for projection, projection welded joint. Now this uh, inverted N, N symbol is used for a flash welded joint. And this vertical line indicates uh, but resistance or uh, pressure upset welded joint upset welded joint okay these all are examples for welded joints okay now supplementary welded symbols in addition to the above symbols the in addition to the welded symbols some supplementary symbols according to Indian standard 813 to 1961 are also used as uh, shown in the following table Now this symbol is used for a weld all round. This symbol is used for a field weld. Now this minus symbol, this horizontal line indicates a flush contour. Okay, this convex symbol is used for convex contour welding. Okay, this concave contour symbol is used for concave contour welding and uh, Symbol G is used for grinding finish. Symbol M is used for machining finish. Capital C is used for chipping finish. Okay. From this figure, you can observe to join the two pipelines. Here we are using welded joint. Okay, this welded joint is a permanent joint. Okay, this permanent joint is used for weld the metals to join the metals. Okay, and this one also a example for welded joint. Here you can observe. Uh, for join the elbow, we are using welding. Okay. Now these all are riveted joints. Riveted joints are also permanent joints. Okay. 
part here rivets are used to join the to join the plates okay now this is the rail application of riveted joints and this one also another example for the application of riveted joints this is the application of uh, soldering this is the example for a brazing this one also example for a brazing okay 